Thank you for joining us in our celebration of Master Hovind Nelson's 92nd birthday. We have three events to mark this milestone. Here at Foundation Senso, we made an exhibition of his prints from 1954 to the 1990s called Hovind Nelson's Lasting Impressions, which we are also launching online today. Uh, in collaboration with Gallery Francesca, we have Senso Unexpected at the Festival Mall, which will run for a whole month, and it will focus on 30 artworks that will be made available to the public, featuring lesser known designs in Master Rubinal Senso's painting body of work. And lastly, we are partnering with Septian Rebel, uh, Robert Bjorn Santos, who is the head director of the label, has come up with um, designs inspired by the textile designs of Sanso from the 1950s to the 1960s. This will be at the newly opened Gallery Joaquin at the One Body Fashion High Street Mall. We hope that you will enjoy our offerings today. Juvenal Sanso is known mostly for his paintings, but not many people know that he is an important printmaker as well, who devoted 40 years of his life to printmaking. Art historian Leo Benesa says that Sanso was the first Philippine-based artist to have a fine art exhibition on prints in 1957, and his etchings from 1954 to 1968 are in the collections of many important museums, including the Museum of Modern Art in Paris, the National Gallery of Art in America, the Metropolitan Museum in New York, the Cleveland Art Museum, the Yale University Art Gallery, the Brooklyn Museum, the Syracuse University Art Museum, and all the important fine art museums here in the Philippines. At the ground floor, we will see the development of his subject, the flowers. His etchings show the development from realism to stylized flowers and we could see that the etchings and lithographs affected the way he painted the flowers later on. The ones with the dark center and are purely the product of his creativity, not really based on real flowers. On the second floor, we see different subjects that are the product of a wabi-sabi kind of beauty, an oriental sense of beauty one that is born from understanding and accepting those that we cannot control, such as time, tides, and wind. So on this section, we see the baklad, the lonely boat, the shipwreck, the windswept trees, and the rocky coast. All of this were done by Sanso during the time that he was healing from the traumas of war. And at the third floor, we could see that when he stopped the etching, he focused on joyful subjects, such as the Breton houses, which would later be painted in the 1990s and even in the 2000s by Senso. We hope that you will enjoy our online as well as on-site exhibition. Maraming salamat po at maligayang kaarawan, Senor Senso.